morning everybody um welcome to mrs pretty's youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> i'm shy but i Jeez. hope that you guys enjoy uh this tutorial or the video of her doing my hair oh, um, way from then till now so enjoy awesome <laughs> hey y'all people what's up <laughs> how are y'all doing i'm saying hi it is cold over here so <laughs> we are covered up okay so today we'll be getting some crochets into our hair this is the hair we're going to be using let's go ahead and from Harlem 125 the name of their hair is kima braid ocean wave let me open it a little bit to show us how it looks you see the lovely curl patterns so we're going to be using this to do our crochet today they are really beautiful they are really beautiful they come in packs like this i just opened this one up they come in packs like this yeah so please stay with us as we go through the journey we're going to be doing some cornrows we're also going to show you that and we'll go ahead and do the installation and show you how the whole hair turns out Thank you so much for tuning in. We do really appreciate you. Thanks. This is the hairstyle you can use to achieve some purposes. For example, if you would like to have some hair in front of your face, you could use this hairstyle to achieve it. If you would like to conceal some part of your face too, or some parts of your head, you could also use the style to achieve it. You're going to see that in a few minutes when we are almost done with the style we are also doing few cornrows the reason why we are doing few cornrows is so that the crochet will not look bulky or unnatural so i'm just gonna have like eight beehives or less than that i'm trying to target less than that so that by the time we are done she just has the hair looking natural and sitting very well on her head Okay, so just stay with us. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so we have been able to do the cornrows. We did six beehives. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five, the top of it, six. So it's actually five. I, I was able to do five. We did just less cornrows in order for her to have the crusher hair looking very natural on her face so when i came to the front i created a part where we're gonna have a, a little part in the front and the rest of the hair were all covered up as you can see how they are looking very natural so that's the beehive everywhere is covered up we're gonna go ahead now and start the installation of the crusher hair so this is the crusher hair i've opened up the pack already they have beautiful patterns. This is the Ocean Wave. The hair is by uh, Kimi. Uh, the, the hair is by Harlem 125. But the name of the hair is Kima Braids. Okay, so this is how the coil pattern is. And I'm going to go ahead and start the installation. So here is the hair. I go ahead and open up the hair. It has no loop. So I'm gonna be creating the loops as we proceed in our journey. So I take a strand of it like this, and I take the lash hook. This is the lash hook. And I get to the hair, the head. I start the installation. Let me do a close range with the camera so you can see what we are doing. So I go in with the lash hook. You could start from anywhere, it doesn't really matter. So here is the hole. I put it in and mat three times. Yes. The reason is because we don't want the hair unraveling. So you can see the hair is locked down. Completely locked down, it's going nowhere. See, it's locked. <laughs> So when you do it once, it could unravel. D don't do it once. Just do three times so that you know that the hair is going nowhere. It can only come loose when the hair is taken down. I go in again with another strand. This is the loop. 
you pass the hair into the loop once twice and thrice then lock down and that is it it's going nowhere okay so we're gonna go ahead and do more and show you what we have done thank you so much the purpose of today's video is to show us what we can do to cover a hole we may notice when we're doing some crochets if you look at the client's hair we have today we have a hole here after the installation of the crochets we discovered that we have a hole because we are trying to cover everywhere she wants the hair full and this is how i have been covering the hair the gaps up with the hair i don't go into the corn roll i don't i don't put the lash hook directly onto the corn roll when i'm closing the gaps this is what i do let me move the camera a little bit to show us i take the coily hair with the lash hook i come to the top of the i'm gonna tilt her head a little bit down thank you ma'am i come to the top and i look for the corn roll but the top of it not the down of it now so you see i've taken the up of it then i look for the other upper of the other side where i'm trying to cover up both on the right and on the left i leave them up and put the hair and gently pull you see it's covered up so you see then you put the hair in and close when you close you go take a, a little piece of hair don't cross two of them together that will make the braids to uh, the crochet to be bulky you take a little portion of the hair on top on the right side and take another little portion on the left side and crisscross and knot it up two times so you see the gap is closing in already i'm gonna go ahead and do another one you take the hair take the lash hook don't go to the root of the hair you go on top and take the little of the corn roll you have created you put your hand inside to take the corn roll so it doesn't have the client so bad you take another corn roll at the upper side of the other one the other line you're trying to close put the hair into the lash hook close the eye and pull gently and cross the hair once you see the gap is covered then you take the upper part of the hair don't take all don't, don't do this please don't do this it's going to produce a bonky chalk on top of here you come in here and take a little of the hair on the right and the hair on the left and crisscross twice you see the gap we had is closed okay we're gonna go ahead and close it properly and we go again you see i take this and put in here and look for another one on the other side of the corn roll put the hair in and i draw making sure they are equal then I cross it over once you see the gap is closed you see that gap that hole we have here is gone then I take the hair a little strand of it you see how small it is from the right I come here again and take from the left and cross the hair over twice the gap is closed y'all okay so <laughs> she's smiling so just give us another one minute and we'll show you what we have done thank you so much so we are almost done we're trying to put in some um, product this is the olive miracle okay so this is the finished work we have on the client's hair for today and we're gonna go ahead and turn her around and see how she looks Okay, this is the back view.
of the crochet we did today. We use the Kima braids to get the star done. Okay, let's see our queen. Yay! <laughs> I love it! Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is her hair. She says she loves it. It's looking beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. The crochet turned out looking like it is a sewing. Yes. It's just a crochet. This is just awesome. And let's go ahead and give it a close range. Okay, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this is sweet so we were able to okay so maybe I, I was about to explain we were able to cover all the gaps everywhere we had and okay oh you she, go ahead <laughs> okay so she turned out looking beautiful so if you want to cover any part of your hair anywhere you don't want anybody to see mm -hmm. anywhere you want to conceal you could actually use the Kima calls to achieve that. This is how the hair looks. It's a beautiful koi pattern. And um, this is the hair we use to achieve all of this. And she's looking very beautiful. Yeah. It is good for those that have alpicia and other hair problems, thin hair, all of that. It does a great job on all of Fabulous that. Fabulous job. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, huh? from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Okay, together with her, we say thank you so much for hanging in there with us. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And here we say to you, bye, bye. and have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all. God bless. Yes. <laughs>